Hello, everyone. I thought you were going to scream. I could hear you. I, I thought you were, like, inhaling. Like, no, 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 no. What do you mean, no, no, no? You've screamed for the past several episodes. I know. I was saying no, 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 no. Like, that's not what I was planning. Okay. Uh, well, welcome back to episode, what is it, seven, eight, nine... Who cares? Yeah. If you look, if you want to know what episode number it is, just look under the video. Oh. Battle time. Yay, let's uh, harass an old man. What? He's not an old man, he's just a nurse. Oh no, looks pretty old to me. He does not look old at all. What if I stole your bike instead? I think he just gives it to us. Sure you are, buddy. Sure you are. It's kind of stupid, though. It's like, no, beat them. They're trying to steal my precious bike. Oh, thanks for taking <laughs> it back. Here, you have it instead. Bitch, what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's not good. Uh, Pack them in the ass, 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 ass. What? I said Excuse me, that's, that's that's not healthy. I right, beat him. Coward. Yeah. Bro, anything is healthy if you're healthy enough. I don't know if that's how that works. I think I'm still good there. Yeah, this thing can't really do much to me. Actually, I think I'm gonna take a take a turn. Some claws. Increase my attack and my speed. Or my accuracy. Meanwhile, in the background, my Byleth amiibo and Alm amiibo are fighting. You're about to say another F word. What? Oh. This fight would be a lot cooler if their arms could move. Okay, let's switch out to. Definitely not Paula. Uh, hold. Come here, Puppo. I saw a Corgi today in front of a chocolate store we went to. He was a good puppo. He was cute. That was some good chocolate, too. I got choc double dip chocolate, dark chocolate peanuts. He's good. I've been snacking on the peanuts all afternoon. Well, evening, because we got them at like five. Went to the aquarium today. That was fun. Nice. Alright, the box has been destroyed. We have rescued the lamb from the fox, and now... Also, no, that's my Kazuya and Zelda amiibo. Interesting ship. <laughs> oh god, we got another one of these jackasses. I believe in crack ship supremacy. You know what? Fair enough. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. I need to use 
Also, hello, Nuzgord and Nuzlocke community. Yes, I've been posting to both those places lately. Oh, shit. It's a Sableye. <laughs> it is indeed not a rat. So. Well, oh, no, he know. looks like a little rat. You know what he's based on, right? Like, he doesn't look like an actual, like, biological rat. But yeah. he does give mad rat vibes. You know what? You know what Sableye's based on? Hmm. Based on a cryptid called the uh, Shelly Huffmanville Goblin. It was. I'm it not gonna remember that at all. It was a um, a like this weird supposed alien in like Kentucky. I think is where Hopkinsville is. I'm just gonna remember that's a goblin. That's fair enough. I know a little too much about cryptids. A little too much about cryptids. I believe in a little too many cryptids. <laughs> I, see, I, <laughs> there's only two I really don't think are real. Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster. Bigfoot just... there's. I believe the Loch Ness Monster probably exists, just not in the Loch. <laughs> right, is there a plesiosaur at the my bottom? Meaning. Yeah, is there a plesiosaur at the bottom of the ocean? Possibly. Uh, is there one in Loch Ness? Fuck no. We Loch have no Ness. idea what's in the bottom of the ocean. There could be thousands of dinosaurs down there for all we know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it took us how long to find actual, like, living proof of a uh, of a giant squid or a colossal squid right well here's the thing we say the dinosaurs went extinct we really don't know the non-avian ones did well, non-avian okay. yeah well okay also plesiosaurs aren't technically dinosaurs they're a different classification So the dinosaurs, yes, did die out. I'm going to fuck you up. Okay, I, I've been watching too much science side of It's a lately. brachiosaurus with fins. <laughs> hey, kinda? <laughs> a brachiosaurus. Sorry. Please don't. My spine's already broken enough. Oh man, I can't, I hope, I hope, this is going to date this episode too, I hope that the theories are right and that Entei is a, is a hadrosaur, because that'd be so freaking cool. August 17th. <laughs> oh, damn, yeah, fair, and there you go. <laughs> that really dated this episode. Now the episode is really dated. <laughs> Blue Beetle comes out tomorrow in theaters. Oh, is it really already? I thought it was farther away. No, I'm going opening night. Well, I don't think you can date it with that more than you saying the actual date. <laughs> <laughs> well, saying that also gives a year. Yeah, fair enough. It is 8-17-2023. Star date, go fuck yourself. Star. <laughs> That's one of my one of my favorite jokes in all of um in oh, yeah. all of Dragon Ball Z. Star date, Star -date. May twelfth. <laughs> yeah, May twelfth. <laughs> yeah, I love. And the toilet won't stop screaming. I am filled with piss water. <laughs> God, I, it's, Krillin is still my favorite abridged character to this day. I like the toilet. <laughs> anyone who can scream, I am. F anyone who just randomly screams, I am filled with piss water in German is a legend. What? Who voiced the toilet? I have no idea.
There's honestly a few people on that team it could have been. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Might have not even been anyone, like, directly on the team. Possibly. Blue hair. Real original. I love Bulma's just disdain towards Marin. I, <laughs> I think one of my favorite characters is a bridged Zack Fair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who? Hey, Cloud, don't don't put the bomb on there. That's that's a bad. Who are <laughs> you? Well, I can tell you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to finish that one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. Says man who does everything wrong. <laughs> that is the summary of Final Fantasy VII. Another one, another company. Who does SAO Bridge? That's something witty, right? Something witty, yeah. Yeah, god, they're funny. The second thing that went through my head was oh shit, window. Shit! <laughs> We must learn covet. Covet, uh, now. That's just thief, but normal type, right? I think. <laughs> oh shit! It's a marsupial. No, it's not. What? Is it not? What? Well, uh, 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 I don't even know how to process that. Did you just call a rabbit a marsupial? That's it not. Not even close. Mm -hmm. What do you think makes a marsupial then? <laughs> Small furry rodent. I think you broke me. How did you not learn this in, like, school? They... They didn't teach us that. They were too busy giving us fucking three years of early American history. In science class? No. In science class, they had us hold dear heart. That's kind of cool. No, okay. A marsupial... It is kind of cool. A marsupial has a pouch. Do rabbits have pouches? Oh, so a marsupial is like a kangaroo. Yes, yes. Kangaroos, wombats, uh, not a kid. I thought marsupials were like anything that were like tiny, hairy, and had like long tails. Like fucking no. possums or rats. It's, it's how they have babies. Basically, we are placental mammals. We have a placenta. Marsupials, basically, their babies are born as tiny little beans. And they crawl to their mother's pouch, where they basically live there and grow there for like. Uh, science weeks. class. The only time we ever really talked about like environmental biologies and um like science was eighth grade environmental science. <laughs> yeah, no, you. Yeah, no, mar marsupials are something very, very particular. Rabbits are... I don't think rabbits are rodents. They're legomorphs. Actually, environmental science is a Boy Scout thing. I think it was just called biology and talked about animals and humans. No. <laughs> and plants. Yeah, I really think they just tried to cover too much in one class, honestly. Yeah, that makes sense. Wanna know how I know that rabbits are legomorphs? 
Mm-hmm. A certain website starting with an E and ending with three numbers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you won. Yeah. There's only one class I've fallen asleep in ever. What's that? Chemistry. I fell asleep in a few classes in like sixth grade. That's about it. Well, I think I was running on like 72 hours of sleep. Or like 72 hours of consciousness. Oh, God. That's and not I happy. And I kind of... Yeah, I know it's not. You don't have to tell me. It's called insomnia. No, I used... Uh, so there was one college class my first semester I would fall asleep in. Not because I didn't like the subject. I loved the Greek mythology that, or the Greek history we talked about in it. It was just at 8 the goddamn morning. Right. Like, I loved chemistry, but like... Like I said, I was super sleep deprived. It was the first class of the day, and I just passed out. Okay, I liked chemistry when I was in high school. Once I got to college, I was like, uh, 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 uh. that is why I changed. Did your college. did your teacher give you like fuck like hour long lectures about the Bunsen burner too? No. What? I think I think Breaking Bad makes a reference to this. Like they make a joke about how science teachers do this. But like if my science chemistry teacher, if you mentioned the Bunsen burner, they would go off on a rant about like it shouldn't be the Bunsen burner. What should it be? Um, so the Bunsen wasn't the guy who originally invented it. Is anybody really the original person who invented it is the name they're based on? Right. But it's more so a thing of, like, someone made the Bunsen burn, and then Bunsen, who was, like, working with them, perfected it, and then it became called the Bunsen burner. Gotcha. And a lot of, like, Chemists will just be like, um, actually, it's not a Bunsen burner. (laughs) What is it, then? I don't fucking know. The burner. But, um, bum. We're here all week. No, we're not. We're here three days a week. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, technically, yeah, we can... you're here all days a week. It's called YouTube. <laughs> yeah. We post three days a week by the time this goes up. We are not, well, we are. I just haven't posted the first episode of Fire Emblem. By the time this goes up, though, we'll, yeah. Oh, it'll be long. Po- we'll have several episodes of Fire Emblem up. I wanted to do something. Because this is... America? So. It was like episode seven or eight. I think. That is, we had a laggy episode today. Well, OBS is not liking my capture card today. So it's going to be like four weeks before this comes out. Yeah. We'll have four episodes of Fire Emblem up by then. What? Oh, I have to get the wild card. Uh... Oh, wait, we have... That's right. We, we have something to tackle the water gym. It's called a friggin' gloom. We oh, have... Yeah. The Pult. Have key skin. Are we able to go get it? No, I think the road's blocked. Hmm? I think the road's no, blocked. No, 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 I was thinking about something else. Oh. 
I was going to say, are we able to get a shiny stone? Where? In the wild area. Are we? Uh, hold on. I'm getting the computer out. Oh, an X, an X special defense. That's actually kind of helpful. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, where's our puppo? Give that to our puppo. What'd you get? A, a magnet. Ooh. Perfect. When I was my father. Should I up hold speed stat a little? I will let you handle feathers. Okay. Uh, I've been learning a lot more about vitamins and feathers from uh, uh, raid battles in Scarlet and Violet, because you really need them for some of the higher level ones. Especially the seven star event ones. Ooh, boy. Um, Special attack. I'm also going to check what level the Gym trainers are. Uh, Intellion's a special attacker, right? Ben. So you could check his stats. I think it is. Or just go gung ho. Oh, it's very much a special attacker. Needs, I don't think mints are easy to get in this game. We have kind of a eh. Yeah, it's not a super detrimental nature, but it's not good either. It's not really good or bad. It's just kind of middle. Oh, fuck. What? Uh, Trump has been barred from holding public office. Sorry, I just saw that in my feed. That just shocked me. Well, oh, okay. Oh. Let's not talk about it too much, because that's politics right, right, right. and stuff, but I just saw that. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Holy shit. I thought you were supposed to be looking up Pokemon. I am, but like... My thing opens up to Miso Messenger. <laughs> oh, you just soft doxed yourself. Uh, we can censor it. And if we don't, I don't really give a fuck. I don't either. I was more making a joke. So do we want to head to the wild area? Or do we want to get a new area in uh, the aisle? Or do we want to progress the story of the aisle and go? Oh, hold on. Let's get a Dino Gigantamax Pokemon early. <laughs> well, I was thinking about that. If we do get Mega Mushrooms, we should wait until like we get our first Gigantamax Pokemon. We have two. Like, like we should wait until our first Pokemon, like that Ken Gigantamax, like is fully evolved, so we don't end up feeding it to a Pokemon that dies before it can Gigantamax. That is fair. I wish Vileplume could. So, do we want to head to the aisle, catch something in those? Give me just a moment. I am trying to. What's the city we're in right now? Uh. Sorry. Wait, right? Yes. Holbury. We're the right level for the gym. You just want to go do it? Um. And then grab the wild, and then grab the, uh, you know what, after the 
Pokemon from the Isle. I mean, we can do whatever you, whichever first. I don't care. Yeah, I said let's go do the gym first because okay. we're at the right level. All right. But before we do that, let me look up one last thing. Oh, I have to go to the lighthouse anyway. Also, I have seen like a very large sudden uptake of being. Is it the being... sunstone or the shiny stone that we need? Sun. Well, depends on what we want to. What do we need for what? For blossom. Sun. What were we doing in? I thought we were doing wild bloom. Yeah, that was before we got slowpoke. Alright, fair enough. Yes, the shop's at Hot Topic. Like... Can be found in the Dusty Bowl. That's a ways away. Well, we That's a ways away. We have a bike. I'm not and dodging Pokemon. Pokemon. We have... We don't need to. What do you mean? Um, we have the claws on, where if it's a strong Pokemon, we don't have to worry. We have to worry about killing us? Yeah, Poke Dolls. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, do you want to go get it, or do you want to fight? It's up to you. I... Where in the Dusty Bowl is it? It's pretty much in the middle of the area by a big rock. <sighs> Should we evolve Bellossom already, though? Does Gloom want, want any get any moves we want to wait for? Uh, let me check Gloom Pokemon Sword. I usually use Cerebi for that kind of information. Bulbapedia, I just have to scroll down too far. Although Bulbapedia is probably my, like, most visited site ever. That YouTube. This episode is just us running around. It doesn't get a lot of moves. Really? What is Blossom get? Doesn't. Does Blossom get moves when I level up? It does not. I mean, we already have Giga Drain. We probably have. Some well, if we wait to level. What was it? If we wait to level 26, we get Toxic. If we wait to level 32, we get Moonblast. Moonblast? Oh, yeah, no, we want that. Alright, so let's just go fight the gym. Yeah, we want Moonblast. Hello? Hello? Did you hear everything I said? Yes, I did. Yes. Okay, what are your thoughts? Uh, we're gonna wait because I do want Moonblast. Just right, in the off know. chance we don't get a good fairy type, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm sure we will because we have to go through the Tangled Forest, but. The Glimwood Tangle, you mean? Yeah, I don't remember the name of it. Don't I just remember it because I, really I just really love that area. It's so whimsical. I will stab you slowly, and you know why. In Minecraft, oh, in Roblox IRL. <laughs> Roblox is such a weird-ass game. I've only played, like, two games on it, and I'm like, okay, that's enough. 
Do you want to play the critically acclaimed horror game Rainbow Friends? On the, <laughs> on the channel? It's a Roblox game. I What is that hotel one? That's the only one I'd be interested in. You know what I'm talking about? There's like this horror game where you have to run through a hotel. There's all kinds of monsters after you. The first thing that came to my mind that not shitting you was the back rooms. <laughs> that says something there's, about me. There's plenty of that there. Also, look at this character. I gotta look, wait for her to show up. Is it Tom Boy, like you mean? No, the, the... The gym trainer. Yeah, the tomboy. Does she look like a Steven Universe character to you? I wouldn't know. Okay. I stay away from Stephen Universe. It's a good show. It's a good show. Yeah, I didn't say it was because of how good the show was. You play Pokemon. Your point you're of, being? You're part of plenty shitty fan bases. Yeah, and I try to stay the fuck away from them. And why would you? But you still watch this, the material they're based on. True. Not anymore. For most of them, I, for the most part, stay away from Undertale. I, for the most part, try, try to stay away from Ruby, except for like acknowledgement on like the um. To be fair, there's other what's going on the plot. There's other extenuating circumstances to not watch Ruby, though. Y yeah, mostly because it got taken off of YouTube, which... It got taken off of YouTube. Everybody who creates it's horrible. Or Monty everybody. would be... Pissed. So upset. <laughs> He'd be pissed. Yeah. It's not that bad. I just don't like it. I don't like these. Go here, press the button. Don't, here, don't, friend. don't. You dumb motherfucker. Right. Oh, you're right. I just don't like the go here, press this button, go here, press this. It's like... I, don't know. I like the gym challenges that are, like, involved. You know what I mean? It's better than the gym challenges where it's literally impossible to fail. In my opinion. What are those? Like, fucking... The fucking whirly teacup one. I had some trouble with one that one the first time. But you, you literally can't lose it. It's just... Keep bidding until you eventually win. Eh. If there were, like, a hole or two in it that you could fall into and had to restart, it would be 50 times better. Yeah, true. But there's literally no challenge to it. Wait, no. Well, apparently I escaped the whirlpool and I went right back in it. I'm in a washing machine. Because get it? Because whirlpool is a brand of washing machine. Shut up. I didn't say anything. Shut up. Well, that's just rude. That's what that is. Okay. Do you ever have like a family member come into the room and go, "Shut up"? Just by you not saying anything to them, like as a joke. As a joke, no. Really? Like my grandpa <laughs> just my grandpa would just come into the room joking like, oh shut up and I'm like, eh, whatever. You do you catch something about that? 
Oh god. Okay. <laughs> like, mentally. <clears throat> Jesus. Sometimes my family members are just in shit moods. Fair enough. Here, I'll blink twice if I'm in danger. I can't see you. I'll blink twice if I'm in danger. By the way, do you, uh... what? Can you look at what level Yamper evolves? No. <clears throat> I only want to look up stuff if I'm interested in it. <laughs> oh, you jerk. There's a, I am curious what level is. Now I press the red. 25. Oh, that's not actually that bad. You might get there before Nessa. I doubt it. Almost it doesn't have a great. Speaking of Ruby, the recent soundtrack is actually pretty fucking good. Really? Yeah, we got Red Like Roses Part 3, finally. The song is over. <laughs> After how many freaking years? Yeah. And, um... We also got a new Neo theme... And it's fucking creepy as hell, and also metal as fuck, and I love it. Really? Yeah, it's called Chatterbox, and it went onto my iTunes immediately. Ironic, because she doesn't. By the way, question of the day. Who's your favorite Ruby character? You know, not all of our fan base is gonna know who. Oh, there's probably a significant overlap. We've had a few questions of the days that are a little questionable in that regard. Alright, for those of you who haven't seen Ruby, what's your favorite type of potato? Like, potato side dish. Oh, I was like. I was like, uh, like, you mean like Yukon Gold, Red, what? No, no, like, French, like, fast food fries, steak fries, shoestring, stuff like that. Okay, there's no such thing as a uni Aider uniform. Cost. There's no such thing as a uniform fast food fries. Every fast food place has their own fries. Well, no, just like the, fr no, like the literal, like, or I, the uh, fast food oh, fries. Gotcha. A.K.A. the fries that McDonald's uses. You know, well, you know, you guys don't have Penn Station, so. Also, what are we getting? What are we getting? Yep, I knew it. Yo! Oh, I have a good fighting type now. <laughs> Well, if we get worried for our, um, if we get worried for our grassy boy, and we have someone who can fight, um, NASA. Yeah, Dreadnought. Oh, break, break, let's go. 75 base damage. We're actually going to put Gloom out. Because Polt is not doing so hot. Ugh. Bro, 75 base damage on fighting move is actually pretty high for a fighting type move. Press, press the button. Press the dish button. Uh, my favorite Ruby character, you should know. Oh, God. Uh, Neo? 
No, I do like Neo, but no, actually not close. Oh. I mean, I love Neo, don't get me wrong. Neo's a super cool character, but there are... I would say she's probably about, like, five or six. Are they a villain? They're not. Ah, oh, well, that's not what I was about to say. <laughs> they are not. Adam! <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> Hey, what the hell am I supposed to... Wait, what? Help, I think I caught the stupid. I don't know this, Noah. Oh, wait a second. I am... Back. I did catch the stupid. Don't get too close to squirrels, Billy. You'll catch their stupid. I was just thinking about that episode the other day. Really? Stupidity isn't a disease, but it sure is spreading like one. Wait, I need to go complete the... I got no bones. I got no bones. Do you seriously not know? Like, I'm genuinely surprised, because I know I talk about them constantly for being, like, the only amazingly written character in Ruby. Amazingly written character in Ruby. Uh. Oh, uh, 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 Iron Fucker. No! Although, he's probably pretty close. I don't know, who is it? Weiss! Oh, yeah! You are a dumb Actually, motherfucker. Actually, I probably have the same reason, like, the same answer for probably similar, but also different reasons. Is it partly that you're attracted to? <laughs> yes. I mean, understandable. <laughs> oh, I do find it kind of hilarious that her name was White White. I mean, as of Volume 4, I'm pretty sure she's legal, so don't have to worry about that, at least. Um, in hell. Is that, is that her, not her name? Or no, it's White Snow, right? Yeah, it's White Snow. Jeez, White I wonder what fairy tale me. she's based off of. Elsa, no. That actor should do a cover of that, that song. I am glad that they have somehow yet to manage to fuck up Weiss's character. I don't know how, but it, it is genuinely impressive. The closest her. they have done is to making her useless in Volume 5, and that's about it. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do any battles with that. Uh, my favorite type of um, potato side dish. It's really hard for me. Is probably a tie between, um, it's probably a tie between crinkle cut fries and hash brown patties. Ooh. I had some crinkle cut fries today. Nice. I had, a, I had them with a quesadilla burger. Quesadilla burger? So it's it's a patty with like all like all the stuff you expect in a quesadilla or in a burger, but also with queso cheese wrapped in a tortilla. It was good. And it was like yeah, it was cooked. Too bad. What? You said it doesn't sound too bad. It was so good. 
I've eaten a lot today. A lot on all of it was good. I can relate to that. The only problem is I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> My body is in this weird, like, stagnant point where I can't gain or lose weight. Oh, good for uh, fucking you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a Goldeen, so I don't think I have many issues here. Oh, God. You're fine. Yes, I paralyzed it. Yes. Hello. I am not... Well, I'm kind of losing it. Hey, Goldeen's down. There was never much doubt. Yay, Puppo. And Bird leveled up. Uh. Hmm. I think I'm still safe. Oh, shit. That's not true. Yeah, that doesn't do too much. That doesn't do too much. Okay, what's your call? Do you do I hold in or Ben? Yeah, go, 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 go. Okay. Alright, Eric Hood is down. Yes, Pult. Okay, cool. Level. Yes, I will. He's gay. It's your turn. Alright, alright, alright. He's gay, can you do this? No. <laughs> Don't jinx us. Overgrowth. Come on, you can do it. I do like the detail that every gym leader has their own unique Dynamax animation. They did that too with Terra, Terra Orbs. They throw their Terra Orb. People say this game has no personality. Big flower. Come on, Kiska, you can do it. Okay, we're gonna get hit by a max strike. That's not too bad. Ooh, okay. That's not amazing. Or that lower. Okay, speed. That's fine. But we got a one hit KO and we did it. Yo! Nessa has been defeated. No, she hasn't. Wait, did you quit that? Nice job, Keysuke. And that is where we're going to end off this episode. So we're like, right it's really in. been a while. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys in the next episode. Of what?